वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई गोइंग टू अवर फंक्शन चैप्टर इन द लास्ट पार्ट ये स्टूडेंट्स दिस पार्ट सेवन इट इज द लास्ट पार्ट फॉर अवर फंक्शन चैप्टर इन एक्सरसाइज टू रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन आई स्टार्ट टूडे क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन बोथ फंक्शन एफ एंड जी गिवन टेंस टू आर टू आर एंड एफ एक्स गिवन एक्स प्लस वन एंड जी एक्स गिवन टू एक्स माइनस थ्री एंड फाइंड आउट दैट आवर एल्जिप्रिक ऑपरेशन एफ प्लस जी एफ माइनस जी एंड एफ डिवाइड बाई जी so students whenever you are algebraic operations means plus either minus either multiply either divide it always you try both domain intersections the f function given r to r and g function given r to r you first of all derive f plus g f minus g f into g and f divided by g all domain so domain of function f intersection domain of function g you must be both intersection for their domains and these domains are r intersection r definitely it is a r this step are necessary doing yes students here by fold all r r to r that's why here only written r but it is indicate what domain of f and these are it is domain of g now operate first of all f plus g so What is f plus g? It is r tends to r. Actually, this r is indicate this one. Always domain apply there. And value is very easy. F plus g x. We derive from that f x plus g x. And now students f x given. Yes, this one x plus one. G x also given. It is two x minus three. So my answer is totally here three x minus two. Yes, same as next I doing now f minus g also f minus g here also students write down r tends to r these are indicate this one uh, domain of both given functions the apply intersections now f minus g x very easily f x minus g x now what is f x already known x plus one And minus g x is also known. It is two x minus three. So finally, your value x plus one minus two x plus three, and only and only the symbol change there minus and minus plus. You getting finally three plus one four minus x. This value is your f minus g x. Same as if you product asking, then also f x into g x. Now I go to third one. Yes, last case f divided by g. Here f divided by g, it is r minus some function tends to r. Actually, yes, students, r minus be written because I want the f divided by g, f x divided by g x. And what is f x? F x is a x plus one, and g x is a two x minus three. Why written here in empty? I explain you because denominator never zero. Yes. Denominator part never zero. Then it is two x is not equal to three. So x is not equal to three by two. And this three by two students you write down here. So your domain is ready. R minus three by two. You not applying three by two value. Otherwise this function is not defined. So that's why I create two x minus three not equal to zero. And the further explanations put it there. And here numerical done. It is f by g x is easily done. So always remember, students, whenever you pass for division, it is not equal to zero apply. So it is not equal to three by two, and their value apply. Now, students, after that, complete our seven question. I going to one more interesting questions. Question number eight. Function given one to one, two three, zero minus one, and minus one minus three, and f given in z to z. It means integer to integer, and f x given a x plus b. Find out a and b. Yes, students. Before starting this sum, I show out this is the IMP for exam level. Yeah, given that your domain functions and co-domain functions, one taking then one answer. So you draw out your first of all drawing, second two, then three answers. If you zero, then minus one answer, and last minus one putting, then answer is minus three. Here your domain, and secondly. Here, co-domain. 
Okay. Now utilize your fx functions. So now I just step by step going. fx I have ax plus b. Any value you utilize in from your domain, I put it first one. So a into one. Now what is f one? Yes. If you f one putting, then answer is getting one. So here I apply one a plus b statement one. Same as students, I just take out to two. Either zero, either minus one. So h x is equal to two. Applying the f x f two. Here put it two into a plus b. But what is the f two value? Yes, if you putting domain two, your answer is three. So here three putting two a plus b, and that is statement number two. Now one and two. Students happily, I just derive by elimination method, and actually a and b finish that. So this equation one and equation two I calculate. So solve one and two. I equation one is a a plus b is equal to one and two a plus b is equal to three. Very easily you just eliminate value for b. So b and b cancel. Minus a equal to minus two. Yes, a is equal to only and only two. So from one. Apply this a equal to two. Either one, either two. I apply first a plus b is equal to one. So here two plus b is equal to one. What is b? One minus two. It means answer is minus one. And this answer, students, here a two b minus one here successfully over. If you students utilize here zero, then minus one. Either minus one utilize and minus three create you different two equations. Then also true. And after eliminating, sure answer is a to n b minus one. Same as to here I derivations. Now continue, students. I going to question number nine. Relation R given define on n tends to n, where relation R a comma b every a b belongs to n, and a is equal to b square. And check out the following statement is true or false. Students, so here there are total three statement given. One by one I checking. For this statement, I checking to a is equal to b square in this criteria. First of all, a comma a belongs to R. For every a n belongs to n, this are checking to this statement. So very easy. Yes, according to given, I just show out from given. What is the a comma b? Yes, a is equal to b square. For a n b belongs to natural. This relation are given in our questions. Now I check into this a comma a. Now, if you going a comma a in this statement, check a then a written, b then b square written. Similarly here, a then a right, and next second one a plus b apply. It is a square, and check it is true for every natural. So I just common taking a one minus a. Surely a is equal to zero or second one minus a is equal to zero. Yes, a equal to zero is never natural number. According to given a and b must be natural, then it is true. It is not true. And here also a equal to one. It is natural. Both statement if you true, then your overall statement is true. So here write down a equal to zero. Not belongs to natural. Therefore, given statement. Is false. Yes, here yes, students easily our first question is happily done here. Now I move ahead to same as our data number two that. Now students after ending this I going to our second one. If A B belongs to R, implies B A belongs to R, implies me students. Here first data you taking over given, and I check out to second one is a B A belongs to R. So for A B belongs to R already given. So what you given A B belongs to R then A is equal to B square given. Now I check B A belongs to R. Yes. Now I just checking B A belongs to R related. So what you write down? B is equal to a square, and check it is true or false. Definitely false. 
because a is equal to b square a putting their value either b putting their value taking both sides square here mention taking square on both side so students this b square is equal to a raised to 4 and value b square you know this value and this value both have the equality therefore a is equal to b square and b square is equal to a raised to 4 so can i write both of the equality a is equal to b square and b square is equal to a raised to 4 so just by just applying the comparison a is equal to a raised to 4 a minus a raised to 4 common taking remaining are 1 minus a cube and here our two two answers they are ready one of the a is equal to 0 or second one 1 minus a cube is equal to 0 surely a is equal to 0 is never belongs to natural number and here a cube is equal to 1 so a is equal to 1 natural number indirectly our statement is false because this data is not covered to our natural number it means after that I show out my statement is false there and then after I move ahead our third question so finally therefore given statement is false students here after ending this data you show out this data is a false now third one third also same as see the question AB belongs to R and BC belongs to R then check out implies checking that AC belongs to R this our checking asking in this question so students question number 9 there are three types of different categories questions now I third going so this and these are given implies after that given I just checking so for AB belongs to R utilize same statement this one A is equal to B square statement 1 same as second checking BC belongs to R so what you getting B is equal to C square statement 2 now I checking to AC belongs to R so we checking AC belongs to R then what we show then we show that students then what we show A is equal to C square then my statement is true now I checking get this statement is true or not utilize for first and second so from 1 and 2 you getting A is equal to B square and second B is equal to C square just to make here square on both side and this b square you utilize here so b square equal to what a is equal to c raised to 4 because a is equal to b square check this data is true that for a is equal to c square no a is equal to c raised to 4 coming it means our given statement is also false So finally, students, here three questions for ninth one are easily done and easily finished there, our ninth one. Now students, slowly, slowly I move ahead, question number 10. The two sets given, set A and set B. A given 1, 2, 3, 4 and B given 1, 5, 9, 11, 15, 16. And function also given 1, 5, 2, 9, 3, 1, 4, 5, 2, 11. And asking their given statement is true or not. And two data given. First, f is a relation from A to B. And second, f is a function from A to B. Yes, students. It is a function asking and here asking relations. So, very easy. Both I combine explain you. That's why I return both the same sum. See, here domain and our codomain. Similarly, here also domain and codomain. And very easily, I just plot our drawing. First, one then 5 getting, 2, then 9 getting, 3, then 1 getting, and 4, then 5 getting. Yes, 1 getting, then 5, 2 getting, then 9, 3 getting, then 1. 
and last four getting then five. It means students here your five. Sorry by mistakes. Already a four given then five and two getting then eleven. Here two to eleven. Yes. These are uniquely associated. No. Same is here one, two, three and four and here also one five nine eleven fifteen and sixteen. Students here also same written up. Huh? Here one five nine eleven fifteen and sixteen. So here domain parts. Here four domain parts. Similarly here domain parts. And here four domain. Same as I make the arrow students. See one then five. So here one then five. Two then nine. Yes two then nine. Same as two here. Three then one. Here three then one. Yes same as. Now four to five. Here four to five. And last two to eleven. Yes. First of all here students. It is function or not? No it is not a function. Because element two is not uniquely associated. Yes students. So here element. Of domain two is not uniquely associated with the codomain it means it is not a function therefore f is not a function from a to b yes students now here if you relation asking check every relation are uniquely relations or not yes 1 then 5 2 then 9 3 then 1 and 4 then 5 domain elements all are utilized so yes here it is function sorry it is relation from a to b only mention this drawing and apply that it is a relation exist and here not a function yes students happily done our question chain now i go to next question 11th one now continue students our question number 11 let f be the function is a subset of z cross z defined by the function a comma b and that a plus b for every a b belongs to z so asking that f is a function from a to z I mean z to z justify your answers so very easy first of all i explain for a comma b belongs to z where what is z value for z students yes integer it is 0 1 plus or minus either plus or minus 2 either plus or minus 3 either plus or minus 4 that kind of any values now here you any value check down for a b and a plus b so for i taking a 0 and b 0 so value of a b definitely you getting 0 and what is the a plus b yes this also 0 check both answer present in z yes continue a is equal to 0 but now I change b is equal to 1. So what is the value? Any value taking the students from it is z. So a b is equal to here 0 into 1. Answer is 0. And here if I operate a plus b then 0 plus 1. It is 1. Yes students. Further number is also valid. But I over here sum. Because check. What is your domain? a b. This is your domain. 0 putting. Then what you get answer? 0. Secondly, 0 putting. Then what you get answer? 1. Check. It is not a uniquely associated. So surely f is a function from z to z. Not possible. So definitely element 0 is not uniquely associated with the Codomain. Finally, last I showing f is not a function from 
z tends to z yes students here our ending this sum i again repeat you here different number also exist but i explain by short to short zero and one checking and easily we are ending this numericals now students one more questions our question number 12 it is the last question for our this exercise 2 a 9 10 11 12 13 13 and function given a to n a is your domain and asking the define for fn is a highest prime factor of n and find out its range it is indicate highest prime factor of n it means students i define first of all factor after they defined our prime and then after highest number one by one carry forward for nine so what is the f line yes the highest prime factor of nine yes can you judge what is the highest prime factor of nine first of all i define factor yes students what is factor of nine 1 3 9 now which are prime only 3 so here i return answer is 3 now continue f now 10 this is my domain so first of all you indicate here by mistake i just taking domain is a nine chain 11 12 13 13 and then after students you start one by one number next the highest prime factor of 10 yes what is the factor of 10 factor of 10 is a 1 2 5 10 and then after i define prime and highest so what is prime only 2 and 5 is your prime and in that highest it is 5 yes students prime define and after that define the highest prime next one more f11 the highest prime factor of 11 so students here answer is 11 because 11 factor you know 1 and 11 itself and prime is what prime is 11 next f12 same as write down the highest prime factor Of twelve, so what is the twelve factor? Students, twelve factor is a one, two, three, four, six, and twelve. And which are prime? Prime is only that two and three, and highest is a three. And last doing f thirteen only. So f thirteen. Similarly, the highest prime factor of thirteen. It is only thirteen because thirteen factor is itself one and thirteen prime is thirteen. So my answer is ready that after that I write down our final range. Students only range asking. What is range? Three, five, eleven, three. Repeat again. So don't write down and last thirteen. This answer for ending this question number twelve. Yes, students. After this ending our exercise two. i go to miscellaneous example to i think remaining our illustration 18 to all 22 so after that i going to miscellaneous example 81 now students i continue our remaining questions for our miscellaneous examples question number 18 let r be the set of our real numbers and function f given in r tends to r and fx given x plus 10 find out domain range with the sketch the graph so very easy students it is a straight line given because fx is equal to x plus 10 check it is a highest power is 1 it is linear graph so i just take out one of the table for related your questions here x y is equal to fx taking our question x plus 10 and you are taking to some numbers as you like some numbers if you putting x 0 what is y 10 i hope you understood if you x minus 5 then you minus 5 plus 10 it is 5 minus 5 plus 10 it is 5 x minus 5 then 10 y is equal to 5 other number if you taking here don't worry it is you minus 6 then your answer is a 4 so easily you plot the graph now 
in the y axis positive and x axis negative in this side your graph is moving students here minus pi minus 6 so here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 and y up to 10 so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 you draw properly utilize your scale pencil eh? now 0 then 11 10 here your first point 0 then 10 second minus 5 then 5 here minus 5 and here 5 approximately here eh? according to my drawing minus 5 to 5 only two point plot and draw the sketch your straight lines and this straight line students moving ahead in both way negative y axis and your positive y axis so your graph passing through that full values surely your ranges are here and domain apply the function of x it is x plus 10 so after ending you just write down our domain is r and what is the range Yes, students, range is also R. So, your final value to apply domain and range R to R in this my graph. Graph is here, students, straight lines. Always, if you power it even, then graph is a straight lines. And here, again, our these questions. Now, continue, students, our example 19. 19 is also repeated questions. Already, I explained in the our exercise. So, question is there. Let R be the relation from Q to Q. And defined by the relation AB is your AB belongs to Q. And this value is checking. A minus B belongs to Z. Yes, students. This is checking to this statement. And show that our statement 1, statement 2 and statement 3, one by one, it is true or not. Yes, definitely true because I apply that. Yes, show that. So, very easy. Our first I checking. What is first checking? A comma A belongs to R for all A belongs to Q. So according to data given AB, A minus B belongs to Z. Yes, from given. What is from given? A comma B. For such that AB belongs to Q and A minus B belongs to Z. So what you say here A comma A Yes, A belongs to Q. And what is here A minus A? Yes, A minus A is a 0. Surely it is belongs to Z. So, yes. Given statement. Is true. That's why we can say directly A comma A. Then prove here. Yes, here our first data is happily students done. Now I move ahead to our second data. Check. What is second data? AB belongs to R. Then implies I check to BA belongs to R. So our second question. A comma B belongs to R. Implies that BA belongs to R. So first of all I utilize our given AB belongs to R. After that, I check BA belongs to R. So, for AB belongs to R, what you given? Yes, given is a A minus B belongs to Z. It's given. So, can I write down here minus 1 common and B minus A outside belongs to R? Why take minus 1? Because every integer same negative value exists. So, minus common carry B minus A. So, I just checking B comma A belongs to R, surely B minus A is belongs to Z because already I checked it above. It means here also our statement is true. Yes, given statement is true. Students, this question also I explained by some examples. For example, just you taking A something, B something, any, 1, 2 belongs to R, check, 1 minus 2, minus 1 belongs to Z, and this also check, 2, 1 belongs to R, so, what is 2 minus 1, yes, this also belongs to Z, so indirectly, this data is true for every, belongs to R, 
and next similarly i go ahead this third one third one checking ab belongs to r bc belongs to r then implies checking ac belongs to r so very easy for ab belongs to r similarly i apply then a minus b belongs to z where what is given a and b belongs to q similarly bc belongs to r similarly applications to b minus c belongs to z where i just showing bc belongs to q now i check a comma c belongs to r or not but subtraction z yes this both i just subtraction either addition so i take addition a minus b plus b minus c belongs to z this b and this b cancel only and only i have a minus c belongs to z so yes it is true therefore a comma c belongs to r is also true so here also i showing that yes given statement is true yes students you are finally done our this questions example number our 19 in all three criteria i one by one prove out to it is proving value now i going to example number 20 Now, students, one more numericals. Example twenty. Let F define the one one two three zero minus one minus one minus three, and a linear function I have given in z to z. Find out the linear function of x. Students, this question is repeated. Already I explained in your exercise two, question number eight. Yes. Here I first of all going to our domain and co-domain drawing. So best understanding here our domain parts. and here codomain so one putting then answer is one already given two already given three zero is also given minus one and minus one then that also given two minus three now a linear function so here suppose f x is equal to any linear function ah linear means what x plus b x power d1 is a linear where a and b belongs to our values now utilize 1 2 0 i just apply to 1 a into 1 plus b what is value of 1 then 1 here your statement 1 is done now i utilize to second data either 2 either 0 either Minus one, so f x same as utilize a x plus b. Now I taking to two, so f two a into two plus b. Now students, what is f two value? Yes, it is three. So here I going three to a plus b. Here our statement number two and one and two easily solving. So solve one and two. So I getting that a plus b is equal to one. And two a plus b is equal to three. So calculate subtraction and cutting. So it get minus a, minus two. A is equal to two. And from one, students, from one a plus b is equal to one. Apply a value is two. So here two plus b is equal to one. What is b? One minus two. It is minus one. Now this a and b apply in their effects. Because f x I know a x plus b, therefore required linear function. Our f x already I assume that a x plus b a putting and b putting a is two, so two x b is minus one, and that's my last answer a x plus b, which is two x minus one, and our function defined. So very easy numerical students. Now I go ahead to next one. Now same students, next example. It is also very interesting. Find the domain of the given function. It is a rational function. Means p x by q x function. So every rational function, students, you know that what is the condition? It is some p x by some q x where. 
necessary qx is never zero, then it is your rational function is defined. So in our given fx, yes, what is your given fx? x square plus 3x plus 5 upon x square minus 5x plus 4, where necessary you show out to x square minus 5x plus 4, never 0. Now, taking to splitting. x square minus 4 runs a 4. And making the x common, x minus 4, minus 1 common, x minus 4, and they get the two factors. What is two factors? One of the x minus 4 and one of the x minus 1. And this value students, you taking the 1 by 1 not equal to 0. So x minus 4 never 0 and x minus 1 never 0. So your value is x not equal to 4. And here x not equal to 1. It means your domain value in whole R, your 1 and 4 not defined. So finally here write down our, what you are asking to domain. Which is R minus. You just subtract from that 1 and 4. So this 1 and 4 students, your final value defined for domain 1 and 4. R minus. Why 1 and 4 are subtract from R? If you 1 putting, this answer is 0. So not exist. 4 putting, this answer is 0. Not exist. So your domain only and only. R minus 1 comma 4 and easily define your example number 21. Now students, it is the last question for our this chapter. Question is there, fx 1 minus x for every x less than 0. x1 if x equal to 0 and x plus 1 for every x greater than 0. And find out the draw the function of the graph fx. Very easy. First of all, I start less than 0. So fx is defined for 1 minus x for x less than 0 1 by 1. So less than 0 students, I just taking some values. 1 of the minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And calculate 1 minus of minus 1, which is 2. 1 minus of minus 2, which is 3. 1 minus of minus 3, it is 4. Any number you are taking, uh, students, but less than 0. It means negative sides. Now, at x0, exactly fx is given 1. So, it is x0 is 1, this value. And last value for x plus 1, it is more than 0. I check out and define after that our graph. Students, so graph is here very easy. So, 1 by 1, fx I going to x plus 1. For x more than 0. So more than 0 students. I number taking. Here 1. 2. And 3. 1 plus 1. 2 plus 1. And 3 plus 1. Here 2. 3. 4. So finally. Our graph is ready students. Is exactly. I just plotting that x axis. Here y axis. Here origin. 1, 2, 3. Minus 1. Minus 2 and the minus 3. And students, the range value here 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3. Here I will be getting 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I plotting start. Minus 1, then 2. Minus 1, then 2 means here. Now minus 2, then 3. Here. Minus 3, then 4 means here. Now next, 0 putting then 1. Here exactly. Next, continue. If you 1 putting then 2, means here, means your graph is moving this side. Same as 2 putting then 3, means here. Next continue 3 then 4, means exactly here, this side running. So your graph, both way running. This graph I applying to union of two rays. Yes students, and that's your numerical is done. Your answer is purely positive. Look at that, every answer R plus is your range. And only here students asking to graph and here sketching is over. And now students, our this chapter is also over. Now here students ending this chapter, I going to now after that in the next part, our chapter number 3, Trigonometric Functions, which is the most IMP chapters in your 11 science. Okay, bye-bye, see you.